There's a lot of information out there on how to grow your coaching business, but I've identified seven things that you can do right now that are sort of the low hanging fruit. And they're the best things that you can implement immediately to see a fast result and an instant uptake in the amount of revenue that you're generating, in the amount of clients that you have, and the results that your clients are getting. And by the way, I'm not just pulling this stuff out of thin air. My company, Impact School, has been featured by Forbes magazine, the London Stock Exchange, Yahoo Finance, and many more publications thanks to the work that we do in helping people build coaching businesses. And so this is what we've seen from helping hundreds of clients all around the world. I do just want to say, if you want me to do a full video on any of these ones, just pop the number down in the comment section below so that I know to do an entire training video here on YouTube for you. And so make sure you hit subscribe with a little bell on so you know when the video comes up. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, and again, this may sound simplistic, but it's move online. You'll be surprised at how many people have incredible in-person businesses. Maybe they're therapists or they're coaches or consultants, and they aren't leveraging the power of having an online business. But I'm gonna talk more about that later because the next thing that you can do right now that's gonna streamline your marketing, it's gonna streamline the way that you're delivering results to clients and all things to do with sales and operations of your business on a day-to-day -day basis, well, it's focusing on one specific outcome because let's take an example of the fitness industry. A lot of people have clients where they have people who they're helping lose fat and then there's people who they're helping gain muscle and then there's other people who they're just helping improve the relationship with food. That's a lot of work for you as a coach, but not only that, it makes it kind of confusing to potential clients as to what it is that you do. So if you focus on one specific outcome, not only does that mean that you can systematize the method of delivering results to clients without delivering cookie cutter programs, because you do not want to be doing that, but it allows you to put up systems and milestones in place to get them the result, but it also allows you to focus your marketing because if all your content on social media and if all of your branding is designed with this specific outcome in mind, then people are gonna come to you for that specific thing. And so then that brings me on to the next point, which is focusing on a specific group of people. So you have your outcome, but you could take anybody to that outcome, right? Because you're good at what you do. But if you niche down and focus on a certain type of clientele, then that's gonna be really beneficial for you. Now, I have a warning because when I say niche down, a lot of people and a lot of my clients in the past have come to me and said, okay, Lauren, I'm gonna go for these mums, right? I'm just gonna help mums. But that's not niche enough. What you want to do is focus on, yes, the demographic of people. So maybe it's mums who are between certain ages and who live in certain countries but you also want to focus on their psychographics. So what is their mindset like? What type of magazines do they read? What are they thinking? What is their outlook on life? And all of these different elements come into that factor as well. So let's take the example that first off, the outcome that you help people get to is helping them find another partner after they've had a divorce. So then from there, you could obviously help the men do that and you could help women do that. Like we mentioned before, you know how to do it for both, so you could do either. But to make your marketing more streamlined and to make things easier for you and to allow people to identify with you more, you would then wanna pick either men or women. Or you would want to pick people who have maybe now fallen into the trap of substance abuse, something like that. So. You don't have to niche down just by male, female. You don't just have to niche down by specific traits. It can be a variation of multiple different things, but it really comes down to when someone reads a piece of your content, them thinking, oh my goodness me, this was made just for me. That's gonna allow you to immediately be seen as such an expert in your field, even if you're relatively new to what you're doing. So now you know that focusing on taking a specific group of people to a specific outcome online is what you can do right now to get results for your clients. But next, number four, change your pricing totally. So right now you're probably charging on a per call basis or a month to month basis. That is totally damaging your business results and the potential results of your clients. Here's the thing, when people pay, they pay attention. You will be shocked at how many more clients you get when you're charging a high price point. Think about it this way. 
if you were going through a divorce and someone tells you, hey, I'm gonna help you find the best partner, get over all of the entire divorce that you've been through, all of the stress and hardship, just for this $50 ebook. I mean, do you really think that that's gonna get you to the outcome? Whereas if someone tells you, hey, I can work with you, it's gonna be five grand, 15 grand, then you're gonna be like, wow, yeah, I really, really need this. I'm gonna invest my time and energy and effort into it. And I know right now that might sound crazy to some people who are watching and listening to this, but remember, oftentimes you don't value your own knowledge as much as someone who doesn't have that knowledge does. Because if you know it, it comes really, really easy to you. But that's another reason why you should charge a higher price point. Because your clients are gonna have more skin in the game, so they put in more work, which means that you get them the better result, which means that you feel really confident in what you're doing, which means that you feel more confident getting more clients, but not only that, the client gets better results, which means that you get better testimonials, which means that your marketing becomes easier and easier. Everybody wins. And you'll probably find that by the time the client is finished with you, they'll say, hey, like I would have charged you at least double that price. And that's the amount of value that you wanna be delivering to your clients, which is why focusing on the outcome and focusing on the specific niche are so incredibly important. And obviously in order to do that higher price point, you are gonna have to change the way that you're selling. So if you're trying to sell through email, let me tell you, this is a mistake that I used to make myself. I would say email me for coaching inquiries and then I would reply back to them and say, yep, this is gonna be the price and I'd never even got them on the phone. And then I progressed to, you know, get a little, a little step further and I would go back and forth in DMs, gather a bit of information, I even had an application form and I still didn't do the phone calls. Think about it this way, a plumber wouldn't rip out all the pipes in your house without coming to look at what needs to be done first. So you can't just say to someone, yes, I can help you, without actually speaking to them and knowing exactly what's going on. And look, I get it, you probably can help them, but just because you can doesn't mean that you should. And I wanna talk more on that mindset in a minute. But let me tell you, if as of right now, you, the coach watching this right now, if you start acting more in demand, your whole entire business is going to change. You need to position yourself as a high value coach. And so if people start asking you the price beforehand, just give them the analogy that I gave you just there about the plumber ripping out all the pipes before speaking to them first. You will be surprised about how impactful this result can be. And then when you get on the phone with them, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you follow a specific structure whereby you speak about their struggles, then you go into their goals, and then at the end, give them some clarity so at the very least, they see you as someone who's like, wow, they're not just trying to sell me, they're actually helping me as well. And that immediately positions you above 95% of the coaches in your industry who just pitch, pitch, pitch. Instead, what you want is for your prospect to convince themselves that they need your help rather than you trying to pitch to them. But that's getting a little in depth right now. So if you want that, just make sure to comment at number five and I'll know to do a video on sales calls. So number six is that you wanna optimize your social media and post high value content. And remember this, High value content doesn't just mean how to videos. This is where a lot of people go wrong because they give so much value to the point where the potential client gets a bit confused or they feel like, oh cool, I have enough that I don't even need this person's help. So what is actually even more valuable than posting how to content all the time? Well, that's cool to post every now and then is posting content which triggers a light bulb in someone's head. So. Think about it this way. If you're telling them what they need to do and why they need to do it, that is gonna trigger a dopamine response. And guess what? When people have that feeling of dopamine in their body, they will then start to feel like they're attached to you. This person makes me feel good. I like this person. I want to speak to them and get help from them. That is the type of thing that is life-changing. Another how-to video on how to pick up a girl in a bar or how to calculate your macros isn't what people need. They don't need more information, they need more implementation, and they need to be in the mindset where they're ready to get your help. And on that topic, I just wanna remind you that you can't just expect people to be immediately attracted to you unless you're a big influencer, right? So what do I mean by that? Well, for number seven, it really is a case of you being intentional and going after potential clients who you know you can help. So how do you do that? Well, 
on Instagram or on LinkedIn. You can find people who are ideal clients and then when you find their profiles, you can then send them a message by giving them a compliment and asking them a question. Then when they start replying, message back and forth. Again, you wanna have a specific system to follow just to make sure that you're not just kind of wasting a bunch of time. But similarly, if somebody starts commenting questions on your posts or comes to you asking questions, realize that you shouldn't just give someone a quick little tip, you're doing them a disservice if you do that. Instead, what you wanna do is go back and forth to the point where they feel like they're ready to get on the phone with you and then enroll them into your coaching on the phone. Oh, and I just thought of a bonus tip actually for anyone who has probably had a traditional coaching business before. You want to make sure that when you're selling this service, you're not just selling one-off coaching calls. That is not good for anyone. It's not good for you because you don't know how much money's coming in next month. It's not good for the client because they get a call and then they're left to their own devices. Instead, what we teach is we teach you how to create an impact offer, which is where you focus on the outcome and taking the specific group of people there. And then you use an online course to get them to the outcome. And then you coach them alongside of it. And then for any personal help, you have consulting. So it fuses together coaching, consulting, and an online course, which delivers this high value experience to your potential clients. Scaling is a different story. And so that requires some more automated systems, building a team, and all of that stuff. And so if you're at that level, make sure to thumbs up. If you found any of these tips helpful, hit that thumbs up too. Comment below what you want an entire video on. And if you want more about scaling, just drop the word scaling below. Or you can just go ahead and use the first link in the description to put your name on our calendar. You get, you get to see our cool process. So, you know, could be some type of value there, but we always make sure that we give you clarity because at the end of the day, we don't know if we have something to sell you until we speak to you on the phone. That's why we don't offer like, buy this, buy this, buy this, because it's like, we'll get on the phone, we'll see if it's a good fit or not. But you can always message me on Instagram or LinkedIn. Just send a link to this video so that I know exactly where that you've come from. And from there, it's time to scale your business. You are able to make money through changing people's lives. There is no better business to be in. And so I'm grateful that I get to help you help more people. So I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe. Goodbye.